You're live. So I'm um, just getting up and making some coffee in the morning, and uh, you know I'm using a alcohol stove that, that a buddy of mine gave me. Big mouth. <laughs> a buddy of mine gave me, and uh, you know I've just put one ounce of fuel, boom, put it in there, and then uh, the Leatherman is is the best ferro rod striker ever, pretty much. So. And in particular, the saw is the, the striker of choice on a Leatherman. The bla saw blade or the backside? The backside of it, because it's a big 90 degree, like, super sharp angle. Okay. You know? So it strikes better than a... I never thought of doing alcohol with that. The, al the actual uh, striker. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Bloom. That kicks in. And I've, I've cooked full meals, bacon, eggs, you know, I've, I've made pots of macaroni and cheese camping, you know. Now, how long does that burn on a load? Um, I, can, I can boil a pot of water like this kettle uh, on an ounce of alcohol. Wow. And, like and about seven minutes, I think. And I haven't ba timed it. Bacon and eggs and all that? How long does that take you? Um, you know normal time a gas stove. I mean, it's just a gas stove if you look at it. Right. It's, it's jetting and there's just no control knob, you know. Right. And then I have the Phenom. It, the MSR mug mate is, the MSR mug mate's the same thing, but this is the Phenom. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, a filter basket and it, it's got wings to stay in the cup. Yeah. And That's, that works. I use them at home. I use them on camping trips and it's, uh, like French press coffee, or yeah, the taste is better. Yeah, because it sits in there longer. Yeah, as long as you <clears> want it, yep. or as much as you want, and it's right. uh, frugal because you can make one cup when you want it. You don't right. have to make a pot and then it burns. That's how I am. Yeah. Yep. I do like the one one cup deal. It's all I use every day. One cup brewer. Ta -da! <laughs> there's a dog. <laughs> See, there's a magic trick involved in this. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Lay down. I didn't know he was there. It's cold, man. <laughs> He's trying to survive on the off-grid project. <laughs> yeah, we have we don't have a lot of comforts out here at the off-grid project. Well, Chief carries his comforts with him. He's got his sleeping bag and sleeping pad. I've got our sleeping pad. And we're sitting in the rain. So you slept like a hobo last night on the bench, huh? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am like up in the woods. City slickers come out here and sleep on the only bench I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I learned that in Central Park Survival. <laughs> Actually, they use blue tarps under the bushes in Central Park. All right. So it's pretty, uh, pretty like, survival-ish. But the, the homeless people don't like you checking out their, their setup. Right. So... Uh, I actually sold a guy a bivy one time, and I was like, where are you going with it? And he was like, down the street, by the parking lot, behind the dumpster. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know. I thought his beard was a hiker beard, but it was oh, right. a homeless beard. He was cool, though. He had 200 bucks to buy the, the bivy with. Hmm. So. Did good on the streets the day before. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'd grow my beard long and sit out there. So, what, you making just a pot of coffee? Yeah, just a cup or of coffee. Or a cup of coffee? <laughs> And All right. I'll whip up a little breakfast for Chief. Now, how long does this take to uh, to boil a cup? You know, like less less than ten minutes. You know, maybe six. Okay. But I have a lot. I have this full of water, so it takes a little longer. Oh right. But okay. One cup is five minutes. Yeah. Even. Well, that works. Like this small titanium cup. Yeah. Is five minutes. Actually, the the big joke about this cup is. Uh, my buddy thinks it's hilarious that I use this for half the Appalachian Trail as my cook pot. Oh, it's not very big. He, he thought it was hilarious, but I would make a cup of coffee at a time, uh, you know, uh, boil enough water to do some instant cooking in a freezer bag or whatever. Oh, okay. I guess that's all you need then. But when, you know, once you get to New Hampshire from Georgia, you start deciding what you can send home. You know? Yeah, right, right. And I, if you eat a lot of like food you don't have to cook anyway, like, you know, jerky or bread or peanut butter or whatever. Right crackers well it's starting to rain so i'm going to put the camera away yeah well thanks for the little uh demonstration of your little stove so you've taken wait well, i one last question before you run away um how many miles have you trekked with this particular stove roughly 
Um, the alcohol stove or yeah. the style? This one. Um, you know, I've, I've taken it on about six backpacking trips so far. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, the buddy gave it to me probably last year. Okay, because last year you were cooking with alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've, I've cooked with alcohol since, you know, for 20 years. Yeah, okay. You know, we, uh, I've made a thousand different homemade alcohol stoves. This is just one of the, oh, okay. the designs I like, so I keep using it. All right. I think I have three or four sets at home, like different setups, you know. Nice. So you're changing my thoughts on a lot of things here. It's cheaper. It's easier. Right. If you can get some corn and make some grain alcohol, yeah, then right. you have fuel. Right. And that's you true. can figure out fuel for your car like that, you know. Yeah, that's and true. A or a generator or whatever, you know. Yep, that's It's all true. the same. Well, it's raining on me, so i got to put the camera away. All right, thank you.